2018 KTM 1290 Super Duke R. Right now, we're on the Super Duke R, and <laughs> the torque is the key thing here. That is what I'm noticing the most. I got a few talking points as far as the seating position that I've noticed right away. That, uh, oh my god, that's fifth gear. Holy crap. The torque of this thing is, <laughs> it's just magical. The torque of this thing is magical. It doesn't like being in a certain rev range. Like 3000 RPM, it's not a very happy camper. It's kind of indicative to Ducati twins. It was very similar, but I'll tell you what, once you get above six grand, I mean, that was six going to seven. It just starts picking up like a freight train and it just doesn't stop. So while behind this car is going really slow, it's kind of proves my point here. We're at 3000 RPM and this thing is lugging, is not happy. So I'm finding myself having to shift down to second and back to third and then back to back down to second. You're going to end up hunting for second and third gear throughout most city driving because this is kind of what that is. 30, 45 miles an hour. Seating positions are very comfortable. I will point out that the seat does not allow me to go super far back. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, this freaking torque is something else. And I'll tell you what, it changes positions beautifully. Oh man. Wow, that fun. Whew. What a, what a, what a fun machine. You know, I'll talk about the seating position a little more once we get off the bike so you guys can hear me a little better. But initial impressions, it is actually a little more aggressive than I was anticipating. I thought it would be a little less, uh, a little more upright than what it is but it is actually decently far forward, hey, a scooter wave, than I uh, anticipated. Especially when you get as far back on the seat, which uh, again, I will point out that it doesn't seem to be as far as I'd like. The rear sets, they're in a very good spot. They're very comfortable. As you can see, they're probably in front of me. They're very high. I feel like my feet are easily six inches lower, although they might not be. It just feels that way, especially after coming off of that machine. Wow, does this thing pick up like a son of a bitch. <laughs> Holy crap. Woo. Wow. Man, the torque. What I love about the torque is it puts your stomach up in your throat. It's so incredible. It's so savage. You just want to keep pulling. Okay, so I am giving the keys to the owner of this motorcycle, Mr. Crow, Arizona. Uh, so, from what we've read and seen in reviews, you can ride off without the key. So, we're going to go down a long road here and see exactly how far we can go. Uh, I'm hoping I don't get to the end of the road, but uh, I guess we'll see. <laughs> All right, so, something I want to point out here, it's a little bit of a warm day. And this bike actually isn't getting that hot despite sitting idle for a little while and not, you know, getting a ton of airflow through it. My thighs aren't on fire like most twins, like Ducati twins. So here's what we're doing for this test. I'm going to have him sit right in this area over here. And I'm just going to keep going down the road. And we're going to see how far I go before it decides to cut off. <laughs> But until then, we're going to go fast, hopefully. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Woo. Uh, so far, the key is not playing a factor. This thing above six grand is like you have to hold onto the bars tight in order for it to. Uh, you know, not fall off. 
God, the torque of this thing is just magnificent. It's still running. So, uh, KTM, I'm hoping your newer models, holy crap. Woo. Oh, is that ready for that hit? <laughs> I hope your newer models, the key is better. The vibrations, oh my God. This is such a visceral experience. You know, the biggest thing I miss about my Ducatis is that vibration. And holy crap, does KTM have that. I feel it through my arms, through my feet. You just grab another gear. Oh man. I don't know how good my audio is. There's a ton of wood noise. But man, if I have to, I'll just do a voiceover. I don't care. Holy crap, this thing fun. Oh man. Well, <laughs> the key test failed. <laughs> you can go a long ways without the key after it started.